So Credit Suisse has this innovative bonus structure called the Partners Asset Facility, and it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Originally, when this was unveiled about three years ago, it was a way to take all sorts of crummy assets off the books and make basically bankers eat their own bad cooking. And now, Jeff, you guys have an exclusive today that yeah. says the partners or the, the, the bankers can't get enough of it. No, it's, well, it's turned out really well. This we've known. It's a, the, the, the whole facility is up about 80% since 09 when these right. were doled out. Um, it was about $5 billion worth of assets. It's done really well. They've liquidated a lot of the positions. They've taken a lot of the gains and sort of put park them in, a, in safe assets. Right. Now what Credit Suisse is doing so that those assets don't have to sit there and this is nothing. stuff like crummy CDOs. It was a whole pool of things that stuff, they did. The, the, the credit stuff. Suisse didn't want to keep on its balance right. sheet. And they said, okay, we'll put it in this facility. It'll basically be a way for the partners to to, to get some upside in case. Potential upside. Yeah. And if it's real garbage, then they'll get nothing as right. a bonus, basically. But turned you out, eat your own cooking. That was the, the That was the philosophy. whole idea. And it, and it turned out pretty well. So now what they're doing, so they don't have access to this to this bonus really until 2016 it was an eight-year right. facility so uh, part of the punishment so, um, and also to match the maturities and things like that so what they're trying to do now so that stuff doesn't sit there for another four or five years they're giving partners the option they're saying we can take the funds that are sitting there mm -hmm. and you can buy more stuff off of our <laughs> balance sheet and up to a billion dollars worth of it um, and you know so it, it's risky stuff for us. The regulators don't want Credit Suisse to keep this stuff on their balance sheet right. because it's too risky. Um, the capital required to put behind it is too high. But partners may have a dis different risk reward profile on it than right. regulators do. So the idea is, is there, wait, doesn't this create an incentive for the bankers to create more crappy stuff that they can then just <laughs> well, shift off onto their own partner <laughs> asset facility? I guess I guess it could be construed that way. I have a feeling that Credit Suisse wouldn't necessarily right. run out and buy stuff for that but purpose. But how can but we put, now we also have a piece yesterday that Dan wrote out of Washington, Dan Indiviglio, which says this is actually kind of maybe a solution well, what's, for the, the whale to fail at uh, J.P. Morgan. When, when Credit Suisse did this in 2008, it looked like a really ingenious way to, as you said, make bankers eat their own cooking. No one has really followed the, the, the playbook, which is kind of interesting. So, right. so we were playing around with the idea, and Dan wrote this piece and said, maybe J.P. Morgan could do that with the whale trade. Right. So, you know, create a derivative that mirrors that, that bad trade right. and give it to Jamie Dimon, give it to the give senior to the management, management, give yeah, it to the guys management. that worked in the chief investment risk office, in risk management. It, and, yeah. and basically see how that trade plays out. If it plays out great, then they'll make money on it, but you, at least you force, you know, you, you yeah. give some capital back to the bank and you, and you make the bankers you throw well, I'm sure they'd be delighted, J.P. Morgan, <laughs> to read your suggestion. Thanks, and we'll be back with more breaking news tomorrow.